to be really looking forward to potentially wearing it in this season as well at the World Cup. Yeah, definitely. So I'm always, always making sure individually I'm working hard, both watching film and getting in the gym and also pushing as hard as I can in my chair when I'm playing matches or training. Uh, but then also to trying to make as much like contribution towards the rest of the team. So seeing how they are, uh, always keeping in touch with them, building nice uh, relationships with some of the newer players that have come in with this season and also some of the veterans that I can also learn off of as well. Yeah, and how did um, the postponement affect preparations for the team? It did quite a bit. Uh, it affected some of us quite in a, uh, in a negative way, really, uh, especially myself. I was very, I was quite annoyed at it, really. Uh, but with COVID being COVID, you can't really help that. Um, but end of the day, it's more positive now uh, than it was back in November um, about the post -post postponement because we've had more time to reflect, especially after that France test in November where we did lose both matches, it's given us more chance to reflect on that and much prefer to lose that test match then than have that be that World Cup final. Nice, and obviously you managed to turn that around a little bit and, and beat France uh, recently as well, so you must be quite pleased with form internationally. Yeah, definitely the whole team actually played outstandingly that day, especially to have it on Sky Sports and also have a bunch of family, family and friends there watching along and cheering us on. It was amazing, especially just to get that revenge from November. It was amazing. Nice, and, and what can fans expect from wheelchair that perhaps haven't seen it before? Well, it's just a mirror of Rugby League, that's all it is. It's just a mirror of Rugby League, but it's in a wheelchair. The contact is more brutal, and you're going to be seeing a lot of wheels flying off like you did uh, if you watched the first one, but end of the day, it's full on contact, and it's amazing. If you look at Adam Hills, for instance, he gave it a try down in Copper Box, and even he, even he, lo even he loved it. So if, if Adam can love it, then I'm pretty sure you can as well. Nice one. And obviously, it's going to be a, a level playing field, I guess, for for men, women, and wheelchair. You must be really proud to be part of that. Obviously, it's quite a, a groundbreaking thing. Yeah, definitely. Especially say from like the 2017 uh, World Cup. Looking back at that, it wasn't televised much, so we all, had, so the French had to do our own, had to do their own live streams of it, and we included. Say so it's going to be on live TV alongside the men and the women's it just shows that the like the mountains that we're climbing to break that barrier and have all all the sports televised 